Today, we're going to be disassembling the carburetor off of the 68 Mustang. We start by removing the fuel filter, and then we'll take the screws out of the accelerator. I'll take a piece of masking tape, such as that, and I'll fold accelerator pump and make reassembly much easier. That's just interesting enough. It has a pump on the other side also. And now pry off the pump. Came off quite easily. The other side however and this linkage has a slot. You gotta find the right position and just slide the linkage right off of it. I won't be disassembling this any further. Now, just take this off gently because the possibility exists I may have to reuse it. Spring is critical. I'll pry this lever off. Now it's got a double linkage on it. The bottom part is held with this cheap little clip here. Uh, hopefully a new one will come in the carburetor kit because you have to actually take it off. There we go. There is the clip. Try not to just totally destroy it in case I have to reuse it. Maybe with a little coaxing. There it is. Now, what I've been trying to be careful about is this rod. And it looks like it's a, a rod that allows a lot of fuel to go into the engine at high and high throttle opening. It's got a plastic snap on it because I don't want to. i got to be careful. I don't want to break plastic. A new plastic rod may or may not come with the carburetor repair kit. Now, try this off. Once again, I'll find a spring. This one looks good too. I don't want to stress any of these rods and bend them out of shape. Now, I'm going to take, take apart the uh, choke linkage. Tell with a little tiny clip. Let's see if we can see this tiny clip. This tiny clip right here. Now, I'm going to take away the, take off the screws from the, the uh, float a bowl cover. And all I need is just disconnected. Take this and just give it. Apart. Look at that. Relatively clean inside. It's the passages that will be dirty. You see this area right here. That is a look at that. Look at that. That screw that just rolled away. There's two small bowl balls that rolled out. They uh they're check balls for the accelerator pump. You must have them. There will be big problem. Problem, a very bad problem with flooding without these. Alright, we have one more check ball right here. Not actually a check ball, but yes it is. And uh, it's got two balls and a little aluminum weight. Also critical. Although sometimes you'll have a carburetor that's hesitating. And you can remove that aluminum weight and the throttle response will be, be improved. Four check balls in this carburetor. That's crazy. Uh, there's not much else in it. it. It's really a very, very simple carburetor. It has a uh, power valve. That should come with the rebuild kit. No, I don't see a gasket. Yeah, the gasket's still there. I may be able to put this carburetor back together properly but without a carburetor kit, but I may as well get a new gas. Do it up nicely so it won't have any problems. This piece here, the power valve, it is the most common problem with these carburetors, not having good fuel and fuel mileage. If you can get new ones, you're much better off. All right, all we have left now is, well, we always want to clean this passage. This is your, your out of fuel mixture screw. A lot of people are confused about the real purpose of this, but this is strictly, has nothing to do with the power, just the idle. There's no need wasting fuel at idle, so you get it where it barely run out of idle. And you're better off. We'll take this fitting off if we can get it loose. It's okay to use pliers on this stuff if you're careful to uh, get a really firm grip. And I'll take take the choke apart. A rubber hose goes. A heater hose goes through, through here and it warms the choke. But this is simplicity. I may just leave it with a rubber hose. All right. See the, the heater hose is mounted close to this and as it warms, it will uh, see in there, there's a coil of flat metal. Actually, that is two different metals that are bonded together. One metal expands at a different rate than the other one, causing the coil to turn. As the coil turns in the choke, it will move this linkage, and that in turn will move this rod up and down. 
is connected to this rod and that will make the choke move. This all needs to work very, very smoothly so you have efficient operation. This is the float. And you just simply pull this pin out, lift the choke out, and there is the needle and seat. This stops the fuel from coming in when the float bowl gets full. It's pretty simple. Now, to check this to see if it's good, take a little glass of water, you stick it in it. You see it floats, but what you do is you put it under water and you give it a light squeeze. Just a light squeeze. You don't have to put much pressure on it. And uh, if it's got any holes, a light squeeze will indicate it by bubbles. We got a good float. That's good news. So, I consider the carburetor to be disassembled. I'll go to the parts store, get a carburetor repair kit for it, and go from there. That's it.